What's going on guys, it's Hellfire with MachineMasters.com and I got a really, really incredible new feature I want to show you guys from MPC 1.9.2 and what that is is the brand new live chopping which we call Lazy Chop. So what that allows you to do is while you're actually recording a sample you can go ahead and tap the pads and chop the sample up in real time while the sample is recording. In addition to that you can also chop any loaded sample up with the pads instead of having to use the F key like you used to have to do. So without further ado, let's jump right into this and let me demonstrate this for you guys. So you're gonna notice when you come in here, the first thing you see is you have some new sampling buttons. The first one, the sample button is your standard sampler button that's always been there. But these other three are your live chopping buttons. The first one, slice, is gonna allow you to basically slice your sample and create a brand new program when you're done slicing. The second one is gonna slice into the currently selected program. So if I go to main mode, you're gonna see program 01 here. When I slice the sample up, my samples are gonna go directly to the pads in that program. And then you have pad hold. What this does is it's gonna allow you to sample into a pad only as long as that pad is held. So while the sample is playing, I press the pad and hold it down. And as long as I'm holding that down, the, the software is recording audio into that pad. And I let it go, it stops recording to that pad. Let's go ahead and play back a sample and I'm gonna demonstrate this for you guys. So I'm just gonna play this beat that AG did for our on the spot series that we have on our Machine Masters YouTube channel and uh, let me try to catch this okay so you can see when I'm done it asks me what type of program I want to create it gives me two choices I can do either non-destructive slices or I can do pad parameters 90% of the time I do pad parameters uh, on occasion I do use non-destructive slices but for this demonstration, I'm going to go ahead and do pad parameters. So let's go ahead and create. I'm going to go out to main mode, select my new program, and my slices are on my pad. All right, and uh, if I want to, I can go back into sample edit, and go into program, and then there's all my samples. I can edit them and tighten them up however I want, you know, and uh, that's that. So let's load up a new project and let's try out the second mode. So pad tap mode, like I said, is basically going to do the same thing, except it's going to slice right into the currently selected program. So let me try to catch this again. Okay, so when I go out to the main mode, you can see the program is already created. And it's automatically going to do the pad parameters program for you. And we, if we want, we can go into sample edit, go into program, and there's all our slices. And you can edit them and tighten them up however you wish. So again, create a new one let's try out the third option here pad hold I'm just gonna let the sample play back and as I press the pads and hold them it's gonna sample into the pad So right now I'm not doing anything sampling And you can see that it continues to sample the entire time. As soon as you start pressing the pad, it starts sampling in any three modes. Even though it's recording the entire sample, the slices that it places on the pads is only going to be uh, for what I held the pad for. So if we go to sample edit, go into program, you're going to see each one I held is right there. You can, you can go ahead and edit them any way you want. And then if I go out to main mode, they're on the pads already. Okay, so let's go ahead 
do one more new one and I'm gonna load up a sample from my stash let's go with a ratchet joint let's go with one of the cane loops turn this down All right, so I want to load that sample up and I want to chop it. I don't want to put it on the pad, so I'm going to deactivate that pad and I'm just going to load it. I'm going to jump into sample edit and here's my sample. So now I want to chop this up. I'm just going to go to chop mode and you can see it's already ready to slice on my pads. Previously, you used to have to press this button here to uh, get it to slice but now all we have to do is start pressing pads and it's going to slice onto a blank pad so the first slice is always going to be wherever your cue is so in this case i want my cue to be at zero because that's when I, where i want to start slicing you can see my pad is armed i'm just going to press it and that's going to go right into slicing mode Okay, you can see I can go back. Anything that's yellow means it has a slice on it. So it's not gonna add any more slices. Now if I wanna pick up and keep slicing, all I have to do is trigger my last slice and then continue from there. And I can re-trigger that as much as I want. It's not gonna slice again until I press a blank pad. And you can see it automatically changes banks for you. So if I had more sample left, I can continue slicing into this bank, but I reached the end of the sample. So, um, you know, that's that. So, you know, that's basically it. And then, you know, when I want to create my program, it's the standard way. Shift, convert, pick my, my uh, program type, do it. Main mode, select my program. There's my sample. All right, so uh, I know you guys are really going to enjoy this feature. Um, it's really, really incredible, and it, it gives you so much more efficiency when editing your samples. If you guys have any questions, drop them in the comment box. Please subscribe. All right, happy slicing. Peace.